Hi, my name is Xian Liu, and in this video, I would like to present you hyperhuman, hyperrealistic human generation with latent structural diffusion. Our recent work on text-to-image synthesis that focuses on controllable human generation, which is of great honor to collaborate with Jian, Alexander, Ivan, Yan Yu, Da Hua, Xi Hui, Zi Wei, and Sergey. So, what is text-to-image synthesis? Given a dataset of RGB images with text descriptions, you want to train such a generator, which would learn to synthesize realistic images that align with text prompts. The exemplar text-to-image generators like Stable Diffusion and DALI2 fail to create high-quality humans. They lack structural information for articulated humans with non-rigid deformations, which can hardly be depicted by text prompts. This makes them struggle to create human images with coherent anatomy like correct number of arms and legs, even with the help of highly detailed prompts. Though recent studies like ControlNet, T2R Adapter, and HumanSD incorporate structural guidance for controllable generation, they either suffer from inadequate pose control or are confined to artistic styles of limited diversity. To enable in the wild human generation, our key insight is that human image is inherently structural over multiple granularities from the coarse level body skeleton to the fine-grained spatial geometry. Therefore, capturing such correlations between the explicit appearance and latent structure in one model is essential to generate coherent human images. Motivated by this, we developed two modules to achieve high realism under diverse scenarios. A latent structure diffusion model that jointly learns appearance, spatial relationship, and geometry in a unified framework and a structure-guided refiner that composes the predictive conditions for detailed generation. In the next slides, we will discuss these techniques in detail. To incorporate pose control, the simplest way is by feature residual or input concatenation. However, it's non-trivial to equip the model with structure awareness with several challenges. First, sparse key points only depict coarse human structure while the fine-grained geometry and foreground-background relationship are ignored. Besides, naive diffusion model is only supervised by RGB signals, which fails to capture inherent structural information. To solve the first problem, we devise a unified model for simultaneous denoising. Specifically, the depth map, normal map, and RGB image are simultaneously denoised. We choose them as additional learning targets due to two reasons. First, depth and the normal can be easily annotated for large-scale datasets, which are also used in recent controllable T2I models like ControlNet and T2I Adapter. Second, as commonly used guidance, they complement the spatial and the geometry information, which are proven beneficial in recent 3D studies like Mono SDF. In this way, we can use the simplified objective to jointly denoise RGB image, depth, and the normal map. The second problem is that the image RGB and the structural representations are spatially aligned but substantially different in latent space. How to jointly model them remains challenging. To deal with this, we propose structural expert branches with shared backbone by replicating the first and last several layers for each expert branch. The number of shared layers trade off between the spatial alignment and distribution learning. On the one hand, more shared layers guarantee the more similar features of the final output, leading to the pair texture and structure corresponding to the same image. On the other hand, the RGB depth and normal can be treated as different views of the same image, where predicting them from the same feature resembles an image-to-image -image translation task in essence. We need enough separate parameters to do this. Empirically, we replicate the first down block and the last up block for each structural expert branch, which makes the best of two worlds by giving both the spatial alignment and joint capture of image texture and structure. Another problem arises when we inspect the distribution of depth and the surface normal. In contrast to the colorful RGB images, the structure maps are mostly monotonous with similar values in local regions, which are hard to learn by diffusion models. To this end, we carefully design noise schedule for joint learning. First, 
We normalize the depth and the normal latent features to the similar distribution of RGB latent so that the pre-trained denoising knowledge can be adaptively used. Second, we enforce zero terminal SNR to eliminate structure maps low frequency information. Third, we propose to sample the same noise level for each structural expert branch. The V prediction is used as learning target for network training. In the second stage, structure guided refiner, we aim to enhance the visual quality by generating more detailed results of higher resolution. In contrast to previous studies that handle a singular condition per run, we unify multiple control signals at the training phase. To bridge the train test gap caused by error accumulation from the first stage structure map prediction, we randomly drop out control signals, such as replace text prompt with empty string or substitute the structural maps with zero value images. The extracted condition features can be used to modulate arbitrary pre-trained diffusion models like stable diffusion or SDXL. Putting all the ingredients together gives our final hyperhuman framework, which can simultaneously generate the coarse RGB, depth, normal, and high-resolution images conditioned on text and skeleton. Note that in each 2x2 grid, the upper left is the input skeleton, while the others are the output of jointly denoised normal, depth, and a coarse RGB in 512 resolution. With the full model, we managed to synthesize images up to 1024 resolution. We evaluate on the zero shot MS Coco 2014 validation human subset and achieve the best results on the image quality and post accuracy matrix and ranks second on clip score. Note that SDXL uses two text encoders with three times larger unit of more cross-attention layers, leading to superior text image alignment. In spite of this, we still obtain an on-par clip score and surpass all the other baselines that have similar text encoder parameters. We also show the FID against clip and the FID clip against clip curves over multiple classifier-free guidance scales where our model balances well between image quality and the text alignment, especially for the commonly used classifier-free guidance scales on the bottom right region. A comprehensive user study is further conducted where the users prefer hyperhuman to the general and controllable T2I models. Please kindly refer to our paper for more details. Below, we show more qualitative comparison results of 1024 resolution between our method and the recent SOTA baselines. It can be clearly seen that hyperhuman achieves superior generation results, showing better realism, quality, diversity, and controllability. Below, we show more qualitative results of hyperhuman in 1024 resolution. We managed to synthesize realistic human images of various layouts under diverse scenarios. For example, different age groups of baby, child, young people, middle-aged people, and old persons. Different contexts of canteen in the wild roads, snowy mountains, and street view. Thank you for watching this video and please kindly refer to our project website for more details and the results.